Hey everyone, welcome to Wikcode, where in this video, I'm going to show you how to generate SSL certificates with Let's Encrypt on Ubuntu using CertBot. So before we begin, let's go over what Let's Encrypt is. So Let's Encrypt is a free and open certificate authority. Certificate authorities store, sign, and issue digital certificates. Digital certificates can be used to authenticate a website's identity and encrypt its connection. And now normally when you hear Let's Encrypt, you also hear about CertBot. And CertBot is an automated certificate management tool. We can use it to obtain digital certificates from certificate authorities like Let's Encrypt. So to start this video off, let's talk about installing CertBot. So if you go to the CertBot website, CertBot says that the best way to install it is to use something called SnapD, or SNAPS. And SnapD stands for Snap Daemon, and it is a background service that manages and maintains SNAPS, which are packages that are easy to install and secure, things like that. However, if you're using a VPS, SnapD won't always work. So for example, right here, I'm on a VPS, and I can check this by running this command, systemd detect virt, and I have KVM, which I believe is kernel virtual machine or something like that. Another common one is OpenVZ, and both of these are essentially virtualization software that can make a physical server have multiple operating systems um, and that usually used to make multiple virtual servers on one physical one. And this poses an issue with snaps. And this is because snaps rely on certain Linux kernel features that aren't available under containerized servers like those running under OpenVZ. And so because of this, because there's usually frequent issues with working with snaps on a VPS, we're just going to use the classic APT, or the Advanced Packaging Tool, to install CertBot. So the way to do this is just sudo apt install CertBot like this. And the, actually the only difference between using APT and snaps is that we probably won't be using the most up-to-date up -to -date version of CertBot, but it should still work just fine. But now let's focus on generating certificate files with CertBot. So we're going to use CertBot to obtain a certificate from Let's Encrypt. And so the way we do this is to create, what we're going to do is create a standalone one by using the command CertBot, Cert only, standalone, your domain, and then optionally an email. And so this CertBot is, of course, the package we installed. Cert only here stands for certificate only, and it's used to obtain a certificate without installing it anywhere. Next, we have standalone, which tells CertBot to handle an HTTP 01 challenge using its own built-in web server listening on port 80. You have other options, so instead of dash dash standalone, you can use dash dash nginx, dash dash apache, but those also require usually additional plugins to be installed. And because this spins up a web server on port 80, if you have anything running on port 80, this will cause issues and what it'll, it just won't pass the challenge, so you'll have to close down whatever's on port 80. And then we have dash D, which is the domain you want to obtain a certificate for. Of course, this has to be the domain that is mapped to the IP address of the web server that you're currently using. And then we have an optional email address, which is used for registration and notifications. So I'm actually going to run this for, I have a website that I used and I don't really do much with it anymore, but it was rarepokemoncards.com. I'm just going to omit the email for now. But essentially, if we run this, you can also supply multiple domains here. So if you have multiple domains mapped to one VPS or one IP address, but essentially, we pass this challenge here. So it spun up that web server and passed the challenge. And passing the challenge basically proves that we control the domain. And what this means is CertBot will place the certificates in a specific directory. And so my certificate hasn't expired, so I'm actually just going to keep the one that's there. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm just going to renew it. And now we can see where the certificate and the keys have been saved. So in these locations right here. And we can also see some not stuff listed. So CertBot set up a scheduled task to automatically renew this certificate. But let's navigate now into this folder right here, which is where CertBot placed these files. And we can see them all listed out right here. And so cert.pem is the server, server certificate file. Chain.pem is the intermediate certificate file. Fullchain.pem is a combination of cert.pem and chain.pem. And this is useful as certain software, such as Nginx, prefer having these two files combined. Then we have privkey.pem, which is the private key for the certificate. So of course that needs to be kept pretty safe and secure. But all these files here are all you need to add SSL to a server. So simply read the documentation for your desired service, such as Nginx or Apache, and then provide them. But this is all it takes to generate SSL certificates using CertBot and Let's Encrypt. If you have any questions, uh, leave them for me in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. 
If you want to support me, please consider installing my Chrome extension called Witceptor. Link in the description. But besides that, uh, just have a good one.